Minneapolis schools today. Now we're waiting to learn if it was a tornado that caused the damage. Channel 2's Jake Ryder has been in Sealy gathering the latest details for us, and he is joining us now live. Jake. The tornado, Andy, it's definitely the strongest straight line winds we've ever seen. Take a look, debris everywhere, sheet metal here. You can see center point still working on getting the power restored. That's not going to be back for another couple of days. And this house, all the way in the distance, you can see a tree is toppled on top of it. And it's just the story when you take a look throughout the city of Sealy. We're probably the first one in the neighborhood that got a blue tarp on the roof. It's not a new trend. It's an indication a storm had its way with Daniel Kulo's home. You, you don't have no warning, you know. Winds so powerful and hail so strong, it induced a cleanup and a headache of gigantic proportions. And I never would believe that I would witness one of these, but I guess there's a time for everything. The National Weather Service hasn't yet confirmed whether or not this is a tornado, but check out what these winds did to this massive 50-year-old oak tree. Keep in mind, I'm just over six feet tall. What's a nice little pool? Overnight, a sports bar was ripped to shreds. It felt like it lasted forever. Trees and debris blanketed roadways. Sealy High School was also in the path of the storm. Stephen Verno's wife and stepson parked their brand new sparkly van there for a graduation event. What is the feeling most people have when they get in a car? That it's gonna last us 10 years. Try three days. Verno bought it Sunday. Hail pierced the windows and dented the doors. A storm with a mind of its own. And the cleanup is going to take all day today. We're outside the Kulos house right now, and they're still working on getting some of these branches out of their yard. And, of course, they still got that big tree in the backyard. I spoke to the Austin County Sheriff, and he said, thankfully, there were no major injuries from yesterday and into today. Reporting live in Sealy, I'm Jake Reiner, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thanks so much. We want to see your pictures and video of storm damage. Just 